so many things that portraits just just forcing you to get better it's like yeah the nostril is i mean it's not quite right here really annoying at times still look weird hello welcome to my channel i am going to talk today about how portraits have changed my life and i know that sounds like i'm being i don't know over the top but it's kind of true they have changed my art game for sure and i feel like they've really given me so much confidence in my art self and just my knowledge of art my knowledge of color my knowledge of light my knowledge of loads of different things that i wouldn't have had if i hadn't pursued portraits so we are going to get into it we're going to go through some things that i did to get better at portraits we're going to go through what specifically about portraits it is that i think is such a key ingredient to be confident as an artist and i'm not saying that portraiture at all is in any ways better than any other form of art just for me it has helped give me such a grounding and such a just good understanding of so many of the core principles across art that it's just I think it's just magic. So we're going to get into it. The first thing is that portraits are a love hate because they force you into realism. And I know that this sounds very straightforward. Like obviously, if you're doing portraits, you are forced to do things that are realistic. But there is no hiding in portraits. And when I first started doing them, then I really, they looked weird. And still, a lot of the portraits that I do, they still look weird until I've spent enough time like honing it a little bit. And they look less and less weird as time goes on because I get better and better at doing them and better at understanding the process that I'm going through to make them look normal. But there's nowhere to hide because if you mess up something on a portrait, you know, your brain knows what a face should look like. And so you and everyone else who is seeing that piece knows something's not quite right here and they can't maybe put their finger on it, but they're like, eh, that's slightly odd. I've literally just posted a video on TikTok and I've seen some of the comments already of this piece where I'm like, oh, this is, the nose is a bit weird and this eye's a bit weird and someone's like, yeah, the nostril is having a day. So I'm like, great, people can see it immediately and it forces you into getting better. And the point I'm trying to make with this, I think is when I first started doing my paintings, I was doing a lot of natural forms. I was just painting every house plant that I had in my flat with, that I was living in with my friend. And I painted cacti and I painted like random leaves and stuff like that, which was lovely, luscious. I love that. But there's, <laughs> I didn't find that there was the growth there that I was really looking for because if you mess up a leaf, it still looks like a leaf and no one else knows exactly what that leaf was meant to look like, you know? It's the realism is really challenging and forces you into getting better. So that's my first point. The second point is that I think it took my understanding of light and color and shadow and all of these things that you hear about when you're learning theory in art and in painting, it takes it from being theory into practice really, really quickly and really obviously. Like the same with realism is it, even if you're painting in a way like me and I've added my own style now into my portraits in a way that it's not entirely realistic because it's obviously I'm using different colors and my own wavers and way. Um, but it forces you into learning light and color and shadow because if you get any part of your portrait wrong in terms of any of those elements, you can tell immediately. So there's so many things that portraits just, just forcing you to get better. It's like the shape, you've got to get better at the shape of the face and where the positioning is and the actual form proportions is the word that I'm looking for, proportions, then you've got to understand light, then you've got to understand colour, then you've got to understand shadow. And it is literally layering all these things 
into your art practice, which I think makes it so juicy, makes it really difficult, really annoying at times. Like I've spent time on this portrait trying to get it right and it's still evading me slightly. So it's that, it's that tough, tough challenge, but I think of it in a way as recently, I've been going to the gym for ages and just doing the same kind of routines, you know, trying to do some heavy weights, but not really progressing each week, doing the same weights. And I'm like, oh, this is fine. But then four weeks ago, I was like, no, I'm gonna do this gym program. It's gonna be 12 weeks and I'm gonna do the exercises that it tells me to do three times a week in the gym. And it's so hard. It's so hard and every time I'm like, every session I'm like, oh my God, I've struggled so much. But then I can see the changes already in my body. And this is like a same, same, but different. I, this is a tangent, <laughs> I've just gone off on one, but it's the same. If you don't do things that challenge you in the gym, you're not gonna change. If you don't do things that challenge you when you're painting, how are you gonna change? How are you gonna improve? Anyway. That's just what I think. Also, the other thing, which kind of comes, I guess, after, well, at the same time, but I think as you're learning about colour and light and all of these things, and you're getting better and better at them, you start to be able to get into the nuances of expression and mood and just creating a feeling from your painting, which I think is what all artists strive for we not only like we don't just want to create a beautiful piece we want to create a piece that is like you feel it when you see something and you're like that's got something to it and i feel like the more that you do portraiture obviously other i keep referring back to abstract here but if you do abstract, abstract can obviously have huge amounts of feeling. And I've gone to art exhibitions where you do have a lot of feeling when you look at an abstract piece. But I feel like there's something really tangible and really, I don't know, I can't think of the word. All the words have gone for me today, but from looking at a portrait, it's like the relatability of this is a person, I can see this emotion and expression in them. And it just that immediate resonance that you get in portraiture. And I feel like that understanding of expression doesn't come, it didn't come for me in the first few years and it's only starting to make its way through now, which is actually really exciting. But I think it's, it's that way that you're able to convey mood that is just, yeah, really special. And also, Point number five is that it really iterates. I feel like this is kind of like the gym point that I made earlier, but I feel like it really emphasizes the importance of practice and the importance of like, just picking up your paintbrush, trying again, doing the next portrait, doing the next figure. If it didn't work for one thing, it's fine, you can, start another, you can do something else. And I do think that that is like, it is that practice makes perfect. And I've been painting portraits for, or drawing portraits. I started off just doing line drawings, which I would really recommend before adding in color, just to try and get better at those proportions. But I've been doing portraits in some form for the last five years and it's still hard. And I think it's people, want shortcuts in art and they're like how do I get better immediately how do I do this and there's no answer like I've spent so many weekends of my life of <laughs> my 20s painting portraits painting people and just honing that skill and getting better and better because I enjoy it um and yeah it does just really em emphasize that the only way to get better is just to do more um, unfortunately, I wish that there was a secret, more of a secret source to this. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this and I didn't go off on too many tangents and I hope that you take this as inspiration to just do, you can just do a line sketch of a portrait, you can do a painting of a portrait in acrylic paint, but I just think portraits have helped me so much and I hope this inspires someone to paint portraits because there is a lot of anguish in them. But at the same time as that anguish, there's so much joy when you come to 
the realization that you're getting better and you've created something that you love and really resonates with other people is really um nice <laughs> i can't think of the word uh, please like and subscribe